For the sign of Virgo, hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the top cards that you see, they're paired with the bottom cards. And the decks that I use for this reading, I will have them listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll see what the outcome is. So, Virgo, the recent past energy between you and your person. We got the Five of Cups. Ends with the Ten of Swords. Now, the Five of Cups, it actually is a card that reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So you could find yourself, or you did find yourself, asking what are you going to choose to focus on. Yeah, because I'm showing that the implication was probably clear. But maybe you thought, are you going to cry over spilt milk, or are you going to focus on the milk that you still have? And get on with things. Now the point is that you would have needed to watch where you put your focus. And make sure it was for your highest good. Now it's with the Ten of Swords. Which is a sign to be careful about where you put your trust. Now when the Ten comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe. What a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable. Well... It is a pretty clear answer of no. However, try to keep in mind that whenever a door closes, another door opens. You're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So, trust yourself and trust in the universe. Now, what I'm getting is with the Five of Cups and the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Swords, the recent past energy between you and your person is that there was some disappointment. Yeah, you could have felt like, with this Five of Cups, you could have felt like, um, maybe you felt like you needed to make a decision. Should you focus on the positive of this connection, or should you just focus on the negative? It was disappointment. You could have felt like there was some loss, regret, there was grief. Maybe you felt abandoned or, or unloved by your person. And because it's with this Ten of Swords, you felt like the connection was a failure. Or you might have just felt like it was no longer, you no longer trust that the connection or the situation was stable yeah so you were disappointed something happened and you no longer trust the connection you felt maybe you felt defeated you felt like it was ruined some disappointment happened and you realize that you need to probably make a decision are you going to focus on the good or the bad So, that's the recent past energy between you and your person. Let's see what we got coming up for the two of you. Well, we got the Nine of Pentacles, and it's with the Eight of Wands. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is actually one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the deck. This can mean that your financial worries, they're over, and that, and that things are going better than you thought possible. So, enjoy this good energy. Share your wealth and happiness with others. Because we get back what we give. Now, it's with the Eight of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands is showing a lot of things could be up in the air. You could feel frustrated, tired of waiting. But you have to be patient a while longer. You've done all that you can do. Now, decisions, they need to be made by other people. So, nothing seems to be moving ahead. But... You cannot force things because it could backfire on you.
Yeah, just know that sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrists. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. So, just know you put your best out there. Now you just have to wait. So, coming up, Virgo, Nine of Pentacles, clarified by the Eight of Wands. Well, it looks like you, you might be reaching out to your person. Whoever you f feel like there's this big disappointment with. You might be wanting to communicate. Yeah, because it looks like because it's with the Nine of Pentacles. Um, yeah, you want things to be better. Yeah, you want things to be good like they once were. So you could be reaching out, wanting to talk. Wanting to communicate, try to get things back on track, make make the relationship good like it once was. So you might be sending out messages, calling this person, texting. So some communication is trying to happen here. Yeah, you want it to be good like it once was. Yeah, so let's see what the challenge is. Now we got the sun card. And the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Sun card, um, things are likely to be going pretty well. Even though your finances, they could be in good shape. But just know that this doesn't mean you should lose, lose focus on what's truly important in life. And money is probably not high on that list. It's a good time to socialize. Meet new people, get out and about. And if you're looking for a new job, this can signify that it's right around the corner. Now, the sun card is with the five of pentacles, which can point to a time when life is feeling less than secure. So the important thing to remember is that there is always help available when we need it from forces seen and unseen. So you could start to feel alone with this five of pentacles. But You've got the capacity to change that, so reach out. You might start to feel left out in the cold. As though everyone else in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering, but just realize that this is not the case. Do the best you can with what you have. But remember, the wise thing to do is if you need help is to go out and ask for it because the help that you need, it will come. So the challenge, Virgo, sun card, clarified by five pentacles. Yeah, so like I said, you've reached out to this person. You reached out. You want to talk. You want things to be good like they once were. Yeah, but you're just waiting on, it seems like you could be waiting on them to respond. But you know you can't force it because it could backfire on you. Or things might just not go like they should if you try to force it. So maybe you stop waiting, but the communication is just up in the air. You kind of don't know what's really going on. You did reach out. Now you're starting to feel left out by this person. You could feel like this person, maybe they're not treating you like the way you think they should with this Five of Pentacles showing up here for the challenge. So it's not a happy indicator. When it comes to love questions, um, yeah, you've, you've reached out. This person, maybe they haven't gotten back to you yet. Could have been days, days ago, but um, yeah, you feel less than secure. You feel like this is no longer a secure connection. So you kind of just want your, you want to be happy again. Yeah, you want to be happy again with the sun card here. 
you're tired of feeling not happy. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Well, we got the Seven of Wands ends with the Page of Pentacles. Now with the Seven of Wands, you could find that in, in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top, things should be going well, you should be feeling good, any projects that you have, it should be moving right along. You could still have some regular moments of self-doubt, but now is actually the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, also don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear. And you could help someone out by spelling things out for them. Yeah, this could point to towards being independent and thinking for yourself. Now, it's with the Page of Pentacles, which is actually a card about boredom. Boredom, yeah, in some ways. So you could be tempted to say or do things just to shake things and people up for a little bit of an ex of excitement as the Page of Pentacles does. Um, if this is in you, it could be your person. You might want to rethink the impulse, find a better use of your energy because excitement, it can be created. The Page of Pentacles is a great energy to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. It brings focus and backbone and the will to stick to a task. That's not necessarily glamorous or fun. So your outcome, Virgo, Seven of Wands, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. So like I said, you reached out to this person. You wanted it to be good like it once was. You're tired of being disappointed. Yeah. Something happened where as... Something happened... You no longer trust that the situation was stable, but you're trying to make things right or find out what's going on. Looks like your person's taking their time with this communication, so you feel left out by this person. You just want to be happy again now. Yeah, at one point, you felt like you wanted to come on on top. You wanted to be the last man standing with this person. At one point, this is what you're realizing that you, you did, but since they're acting like they are, kind of like no communication or slow communication, you're feeling left out by this person and you're losing interest. Yeah, Page of Pentacles is, yeah, it's about boredom in some ways. It's just bored with what's going on, and it doesn't look like much, except for your feelings there. You're, you probably, you're insulted, you're offended, you feel like you no longer trust that the connection is stable. You just want to be happy again, with or without this person. Yeah. So you've lost interest, Virgo. You're bored with the whole thing. So that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario? And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I will also put a link below of the... I will also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Virgo, I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass, and we'll all get through this. So, stay strong and take good care. Please come back and join me for the next Virgo reading, just in case this did not resonate. 
Maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, if you're not involved with anyone romantically, your person, they could be a friend or a family member or it could be a situation. So please take the reading for however it resonates. Yeah, because these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Virgo, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care. Next reading. And take care. Next reading. 